Another round of applause please for that wonderful video of Truman Athens preaching in Africa. Now in case you're wondering, who is that rather smooth looking character and why is he so handsome and intelligent? I must inform you, friends and admirers, that I am not in fact Char uh, Alfred Hitchcock. No, I am none other than the great Dolls Chickens! <laughs> Look, I can be whoever I want to be, all right? Do the rest. He's not Dolls Chickens, you know. Right, that does it. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> there. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> was I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Tonight, for your pleasure, we have another special feature. An adaptation. An adaptation of a famous story which will hopefully warm <laughs> your hearts on this winter evening. Ladies and gentlemen, for your transcendental entertainment, the Bachelor of the Players would like to present a Christmas kitten! cold and wintry Xmas Eve. It was a dark night, and Scrooge Das, the temple, the temple president, was in his place of business. Stevenage yesterday? You were told it was a biography about Lord Jesus whose birthday is being celebrated tomorrow? <laughs> but, and when you opened it, you saw a recipe for something called for Goranga Potato? <laughs> What's that? You want a refund? <coughs> you want to talk to the temple president? <laughs> yes, he's right here. Hold on. <laughs> Hello? Oh, whoops, I seem to have slipped. <laughs> <laughs> Refund? <laughs> Refund, scratch it. It's Maya. <laughs> How many more times 
have to tell you, on no account agree to any refunds. It's not Vedic. <laughs> Sorry, when I take away your DM, <laughs> and you're forced to work for a carmy firm of accountants in <coughs> gold is green. <laughs> Talking of which, could we have another piece of coal for the fire? My assets are frozen. <laughs> another one? <laughs> Didn't I give you a piece last year? <laughs> <laughs> I need to talk to you. Yes, about. what is it? Come on, spit it out, scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> quickly, quickly, time is money, as we both well know. <laughs> it's about my dear, Mr. Scrooge. Uh, you see, me, me and my wife, Mrs. Scratchit, we're finding it very difficult to survive on five pounds a week, what with the money <laughs> and the bills and what have you. And Tiny Tim, Tim's hospital payments, they, they cost him a fortune. Oh, which reminds me, I promised to buy Tiny Tim a, a new artificial egg so that he could play football with the Guru Coolies. And I want to <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake! Stop moaning and complaining, will you, scratch it? Look, if you promise to work much, much harder, I'll, I'll sub an extra sixpence in your pay packet each month. Can't say fairer than that now, can we? Uh, Sixpence. Can't believe your luck, eh? <laughs> Back to work before I change my generous mind. <laughs> uh, Scrooge. Uh, yeah, Scrooge for Buhai Ball. Scrooge. <laughs> there are two guests outside the front door, and they want to stay for three days. Well, tell them they can, but they'll probably die from frostbite. <laughs> yeah, uh, that might not be a good idea for Boo. They want to discuss a lucrative business opportunity with the temple. Well, why didn't you say so? Send them up straight away. <laughs> a lucrative business deal, eh? That's music to my ears, scratch it. <coughs> you know, this might be the good Lord's way of uh, arranging that extra sixpence for you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, 
pull another stunt like that and you'll find yourself unemployed for the new year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough for one day. I'm off. Oh, oh excuse me. Before you go, what should I do about the banning orders? Banning orders, huh? Well, since it's Christmas, gift wrap them and send them out. <laughs> <laughs> Enter Jacob Marley. <laughs> Where does Bob Marley come into this? Well, he couldn't make it, could he? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, please, can everyone come on? Can you come on, please? <laughs> Look, did you write this? Yes. Sorry. I don't recognise any of it at all. In fact, it's changed quite a lot. <laughs>
you get any more sandwiches? Go play them. Bob Marley here. You got Bob Marley? Bob Marley on the script. Look, can we can we just carry on, please? It's like it's getting late, and Mark the driver's not going to wait for me. Oh yes, yes. I must be imagining this. Maybe it was something I ate today. Maybe that porridge day, but perhaps the Perhaps I'll put a bit of cheese I found last month. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, have you, ever Ebenezer? Still as analytical and rational as ever. And you're just as silly as before as well. Uh, just leave me alone, will you? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Oh, yes, you'd like that. Well, don't worry, I'm not staying around for too long. Just thought I'd pop in and tell you about three other unusual entities we're going to visit you tonight. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, they can't. I mean, uh, I'm busy all evening. I've got rounds to chant and uh, <laughs> I've got to be up for Mongolati. <laughs> Mongolati, don't make me laugh. You haven't been a Mongolati for the past 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> and even, by, and they, even they were by mistake. <laughs> Hear my words, <laughs> never lose a screw dust. Man has for a short time to live. And no matter how much money you have, you cannot buy back one second of that time. As you well know, I was the previous temple president here. But I made so many mistakes that look at me now. But it is not too late to change. Greed imprisons one in chains, but selfless love can set you free. Ah, my soul, Maya. What do I have to fear? I'm a very giving, generous soul. And I never make mistakes. Be warned, Ebenezer. No man is an island. No man. <coughs> Expect your first visitor when the clock strikes one. <laughs> Love will set you free. Sounds like a song by the Rubettes. <laughs> anyway, it's all sentimental. <laughs> Come that judgment day of point. <clears throat> I chart my rounds. I had every chocolate. <laughs> they only went to see the Titanic once. <laughs> yeah, I'll be all right. Never even fear. <laughs> good evening, good evening everyone, and welcome to the show. Now, as you probably guessed, I'm the ghost of Christmas past. And tonight, professional advisor, stingy little urchin, temporary president, this is... <laughs> any of this. This is all nonsense. It's a load of rubbish. What's going on for God's sake? Get off. Leave me alone. Don't let me hear the end of this. I'll take it to the top. Now, Scrooge, come with me. And I'll take you on a little journey back, back, back into <laughs> to the time of Christmas Eve many, many years ago. Lens cap. Now, that particular Christmas Eve, it started quite badly, didn't it, Ebenezer? Remember this old place? Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course. That's my old local, the Skin Flint. <laughs> I used to meet my chums there every Friday night. We'd laugh and joke and I'd buy them all drinks. Oh, happy days. <laughs> 
Ha, ha, ha. 
my mysterious friend. <coughs> Why does one party laugh and dance <coughs> as if a happy occasion is <coughs> whilst the other one sorrowfully mourns a sad happy occasion? Please explain the significance of these contrasting situations. <laughs>
for some presents for you. There you go. And don't forget to chant the Lord's holy names. <laughs> well, I'll take them anyway. God bless you. <laughs> and don't forget to chant the Lord's holy names. Hare Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> Mistaken, this what? is the place where young Scratchit and his family come for their annual Christmas Day walk. I'll surprise them all right, they won't be expecting this. God, it's so exciting. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. 